Believe it or not, we're just about a week away from the start of hurricane season and scientists once again expected to be above average. Brian Farrell is here with the new predictions. Yeah, and Janet, we'll start off by saying that forecasters at NOAA's Climate Prediction Center are making their prediction with 70% confidence. So here's what they're expecting. They say we could see anywhere from 14 to 21 named storms in the Atlantic this year. They're expecting six to 10 of those storms to turn into hurricanes, and they think three to six of the hurricanes could become major ones, meaning category three or higher. Still, it's a good time to think about preparing for a hurricane at this point. That includes stocking up on some supplies, setting up a communication plan, and preparing a first aid kit. All of that is, of course, just in case. It also is a good time to check out our hurricane guide. Head to 13newsnow.com slash hurricane to get to the Hurricane Center. You'll find the guide there. It has information about preparing for a storm, evacuation zones, and some explanations of different hurricane terms. Hurricane season begins again June 1st. Janet. All right, thank you so much, Brian. All right, Evan, no hurricanes yet, but plenty of rain. That's right, and the tropics really have been quiet up to this point, and of course, that's what we usually expect, but just to take a look at back, all the way going back to 2015, we've had hurricanes or tropical systems that actually formed before the traditional start of hurricane season, which is June 1st. Back in 2015, we had Anna that formed back on May 8th, and then last year, Anna formed on May 22nd. And you might even remember back in 2016, we had Alex, which was a January storm that developed. If this holds, th this will be the first year since there's nothing going on in the tropics that it'll be the latest that we've gotten into tropical season since 2014 and the tropics are quiet right now. No tropical systems expected over the next five days.